Okay, it's been a little bit, but uh, today we're going to talk about a few errors that we need to correct before we do anything else. And that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. So, if we take a look at our game right now, if I press play, there's a few errors that happen. Um, so if I drag my mouse back, I'm going to aim for that extra ball power-up. You can see that the main ball is making the other ones lose health, but if now I have two balls, oops, that's a weird mistake. Let's fix that. All right, so yeah, if I go with the regular ball, uh, it'll take out the bricks just fine, reduce their health. If I hit any of the bricks with the extra ball, you can see right there, a couple problems. First of all, the extra ball went off the screen, so we need to fix that. Second of all, when the extra ball hit any of these bricks, nothing happened. So let's fix that right now. Let's go to our prefabs, which is where we have our extra ball in. And to keep it from going off the screen, what we need to do is change the collision detection, which is right here. Right now the collision detection is set to discrete. And what that means is that it's the Unity is checking to see whether or not the extra ball collides with everything. I think it's 10 times per second. So if the ball approaches something, approaches a collider, and it's right before the collider when it does its physics check, Depending on how fast it's going, it might be on the other side of the collider when it does the physics check again. So according to Unity, if it's doing discrete collision detection, there was no collision, even though the ball just went over a collider. Does that make any sense? So if we change this from discrete to continuous, it means that rather than checking for uh, physics 10 times a second, it's going to check for physics every single frame. So the ball it's always going to be looking to see if the ball's uh, intercepting at the collider. So that should fix that error right there. Um, let's make sure that we have our ball set to continuous as well. Yeah, and our ball isn't, which might be what caused the error when I first did it. So again, ball's collision detection, we're going to set that to continuous. If you ever have anything moving in a 2D game in Unity, it's a good idea to set its collision detection to uh, continuous, because what might happen, like you might have a platformer where your little dude jumps, depending on how much speed they gain before they hit the next platform, uh, it might go right through the uh, collider because Unity is only checking physics by default. I want to say it's 10 times per second. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so that's the first thing. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to the uh, add ball script. So uh, open up our scripts, add ball. And Okay, so I program on a Mac, and um, Unity just released its, um, this, actually, this is actually the old version of Unity, but um, uh, Microsoft just released its uh, version of Visual Studio for the Mac, so that's what I've been using. Um, but since we've been using Mono Develop for every other video, uh, I'm going to reset that really quickly. And just so you know where you can reset your editor in here, if you go up to Unity, go down to Preferences, uh, I'm going to choose External Tools, Right now my external script editor is set to Visual Studio. I'm going to set it back to Mono Develop, but if you ever want to set it to Visual Studio from Mono Develop, this is where you find it. On Mac it's under Unity Preferences, and then I believe on Windows it's under File Preferences. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Add Ball script in Mono Develop. Um, Okay, and what we want to do here first is we want to make sure that it's not just the main ball that's able to access the extra ball power-ups. We want those extra balls to access the extra ball power-ups too. And the way that we have it coded right now, uh, let's zoom in here. The way we have it coded right now is we're looking to see if something enters the trigger zone that's on the extra ball power-up, and then we're going to check the collider that enters and check its tag. And right now we're only recognizing if the tag is ball. If the tag is plain old ball, then we're going to add the number of extra balls, and we're going to set this inactive. Which means that if one of the extra balls goes through an extra ball power-up, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to skip over this whole block of code because it doesn't meet the if statement. So I'm going to go back into Unity here and just remind you about the tag system here. If we look at our main ball, which is this one right here, its tag is ball. If we go to our prefabs, our extra balls be tagged as capital E extra space capital B ball. So we're going to go back into mono develop. And we're going to add an or statement here. 
I honestly can't remember if we talked about OR statements before. OR statements are things that the program will recognize as true if the first or the second or both of them are true. And to do an OR statement in programming, you use the bar. And the bar is found above your enter key, uh, and you have to hit shift to access it, because otherwise it's a forward slash. So we'll do two of those, and that means OR. So if other.gameobject.tag is ball or other.gameobject.tag is extra ball. And I have to spell it exactly the same way. Capital E extra space capital B ball. So I'm going to save this script really quickly. That's the first change we need to do. The next change we need to do is we need to go into our Brick Health Manager script. So looking at Unity here uh, in our scripts, we want to go to the Brick Health Manager script. And as it is right now, the Brick Health Manager is, again has the same problem. Um, when it exits a collision with an object, if the other object is tagged as ball, then it's going to take one unit of damage. We want to change this to be or extra ball. Just, oh, and we can't just do extra ball. Just to be, well, I mean, we can, but just to be completely um, clear in my programming, I'm going to write this as other.gameobject.tag double equals extra ball. Uh, okay, so we've got. Um, the extra balls are going to be triggering the extra ball power-ups. The Brick Health Manager is going to take damage from the extra balls. Uh, we set their collision detection to continuous. So, cool. Now let's make sure that we save all our scripts here. Pop back into Unity. Give it a second to think down here so we can see if we made any errors. Uh, it didn't. I did assign a variable that I never used, though. So we'll have to look into that later. So if I hit play now, uh, let's see if I can get that extra ball right away. Cool. All right, so now I couldn't tell if it took damage from that extra ball or not. Let's try this again. Oh, and that time it didn't actually launch the extra balls. Oh, well, we got all kinds of errors here, it looks like. Huh? That was better. At least it took damage from the extra ball. Okay, so we got a few error errors that we need to fix. So we'll do that next time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.